happy, happy Tuesday. It's also March 1st. How are we already in March? I don't know. Yeah, happy National Craft Month, everyone. Happy beginning of National Craft Month. I hope you have a good plan to do something extra crafty this month. Yes. Take a leap, get the cricket, take a leap and buy that sublimation printer, uh, take a leap and start screen printing, whatever you want to do. Take or a leap and join Oak and Lamb. Take, <laughs> thank you, I mean. Take a leap and join the best crafting community ever, Oak and Lamb. I embellished. From what you said a little yeah, no, bit. Yeah, yeah, you should have. Okay. You should have. Good. I definitely left some words out. I think you did, clearly. Yeah. But <laughs> I hope you all are having a fantastic day. My name is Rachel. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And the O voice you hear from beyond is beautiful Becca. She is also an owner and craft educator here. And she is pressing all the buttons and answering all the comments and uh, dropping all the links for us today, which is so kind of her to do. Um, but yes, good morning. I hope y'all are doing well. Today is supposed to be 63 and sunny. Ooh. I'm ready for it. Rachel. What? You know, I have my first camp trip planned for this weekend, yes. and it is gorgeous. Is it? Okay. Yes. Like, no rain, highs in the oh, upper 60s, yay. low 70s, which is perfect camping weather. Yes. Lows in the, like, high 30s to low 40s so that's not terrible nothing no. will freeze or anything no i'm yes. really pumped about the first this. Camp yeah. trip of the season yeah. for the oaks family is fallon and becca have already packed their bags tell them what beckett and fallon then we'll get crafting i promise yes tell them what they said at school to their teachers then which made their teachers reach out to you yeah so my kids have standardized testing next week and <laughs> They went to school yesterday and told their teachers they would not be at school on Friday because they were going to go camping for a lot of days. Long time. Yeah, well, we're going Thursday to Monday or to Sunday. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's all about perspective. Yeah. Yes. And later on, I'll tell you all about what Beckett packed in his uh, bag to go and found as well. So stay tuned for that. Please do. Yes. And then the teacher was like, hey, Becca, are you guys going to be here Monday? Yeah, no, 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 they won't miss. They'll and be there. Like, they, they'll be there. They just, they're really excited. They're very excited. It's yes. so sweet. Um, so we get to do some layering screen print today. I don't want to overwhelm you, number one, because it's a little bit more difficult than standard screen printing, as you could guess. And number two, we do have other trainings on screen printing. So I have not, I will not be doing like some of the steps I have done in the past to live videos. So if you are like brand new and you're like, I just want to know how to screen print, really basic, the link is below. We're using the exact same file we used on the other two screen printing videos. I love to keep things consistent. And plus I think it's gonna be easier for you guys to know if you've watched my other two videos. We've used the same, I wear my heart on my sleeve cut file for both of them. Um, one we just did basic screen printing all one color. Another one we did screen printing with multiple colors and it looked, it was, that was really cool. It looked like a little striped rainbow effect on the design and today we're using a we're using two colors to give it a layered look now the term layered is actually technically not possible with screen print as it is for let's say sublimation you can't really layer sublimation just like you can't layer screen print however you can piece them together close together on top of each other other pieces to make it look like a layered effect i hope that does make sense and we'll dive into that in this video but the i wear my heart on my sleeve we're missing our heart which will be placed on a different screen with a different color of screen printing ink so we're going to use two different colors today it's going to be a really fun video i'm really excited about it um also, you guys get to see Rachel yesterday be super heavy handed with her screen printing. Mm -hmm. and but this is a good educational moment. This is yeah. a good educational moment. I had, um, I was prepping this yesterday. I needed the majority of my shirt done and dried uh, because you do have to dry in between layers. Again, that's a bit of a downside of doing layered screen printing. But if you're patient, you're patient. And I was pretty darn heavy handed with my screen printing ink yesterday and it bled a little and went through my shirt. So these are great things to be able to tell you to avoid later on. And again, I have been screen printing for years on and off, not consecutively of course, but even I sometimes get heavy handed, mistakes are made, things happen. So again, I just want you to know this is raw and real. You guys might still have a couple of little bumps down the road. It doesn't mean that you're not good at screen printing. It just means maybe this wasn't your day. And boy howdy, do crafters have those days sometimes. We all definitely do. Um, 
Linda Lowry is totally free from Facebook jail. Oh, that's so, that's good to know. Let me tell you. Mm. It, that Facebook jail is a bad place to be. No one wants to be there for sure. I want to get my hands on screen printing supplies. Romo, you totally can. Everything that we're using today is linked in the description below if you'd like to use what we use. Um, however, you totally don't have to. There's actually a lot to get started with at the low at your local craft store. I was surprised that they had um, some, and now it's limited supplies, but they had some screens and squeegees and some uh, screen printing ink and thing like things like that. So definitely check that out if you would like to. Um, but yeah, okay. All the supplies are the same throughout all of the screen printing videos. Again, I've linked the other two in the description if you wanna watch those. We have our frames, our screen printing frames. We're gonna be using two today. Now you don't necessarily have to have two, but since this is a live project, I don't wanna be spending a lot of time cleaning and uh, drying this uh, screen for you guys and all that. So we have two screens today. One is pre-done because this is kind of like the basic one-step screen printing that we've always done. And then the next one is gonna be our little heart, which is gonna be our second color on our design. Uh, we have our trusty piece of wood. If you've been with us for our other, <laughs> our other screen printing projects, this is our trusty piece of wood that allows us to be able to give good pressure with our vinyl when we're screen printing um, and placing our design on there. It's imperative you have a good piece of wood here. It's really not, but it helps. <laughs> also, we have our screen printing ink. This is from Speedball. We have black and then this beautiful blue color called Polar Pulse. Check all those out in the links below. Um, you're also gonna need some vinyl. Now, it was a fantastic idea, good thought. Formula was wrong, so we weren't able to use it. However, if you guys are doing a layered screen print, I highly recommend that your layered piece be made with a clear vinyl. Now, there is such a thing as clear vinyl. You can actually get it at 143vinyl.com as well. Um, so the link is in the description if you wanna click it and go grab it. But we're using white today. We thought, why don't we try transfer tape, clear transfer tape? Won't that be basically the same thing? And the formula is not the same as the formula for regular adhesive vinyl. And it did not want to stick to the screen printing screen. Now, just to make sure you guys know I did my best, I tried twice with our um, clear transfer tape. I cleaned our screen with rubbing alcohol. I will say, if you have a screen that's extremely well loved, it's not gonna take the vinyl as well as a fresh screen. That's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles. Um, so there's a lot of factors that play into the process of having a, a good successful screen with vinyl, but transfer tape does not work, unfortunately. I wish that it did. Maybe you have a different type and you wanna test it out. Test it out. It didn't wanna stick for us. I was not confident that the uh, screen printing ink would stay put. So yeah, that was sad for sure. What is Fred doing? Fred, well, well I see something <clears throat> about an autograph. You autographing something? He, did he? Yes. Well, he doesn't quite understand. So, so somebody, Cat mentioned basically that Fred was our mascot, and Fred said something to the effect of the things you'll do to help out your baby sister. And I said, well, I may have escalated a little bit beyond that. Um, I don't think I told Fred, but I just did. We got this um, pin cushion that's a little bitty lamy and it's adorable. And when we looked at it, it um, said, it's a U, first of all, which is a female sh lamb, which is interesting. A U named Freddy. Let me go to the overhead yeah. really quickly. Um, and so, or Fred. And so we just, we couldn't change its name because it's just, well, we have a, you know, Freddy slash Frank here that you all um, love to goad and all of that fun stuff. So anyway, um, now our lamb mascot's name is Fred. Yeah, not you. Not Fred. Him. Fred the you. Fred. Fred the you. Give him back. Her. Take him. It. It. I don't know. We'll talk about that <laughs> later. That's. It's a different topic for yeah. a different class yeah. here. A uh, strong grip transfer tape, Maria. You can try it. I, however, would never condone purchasing that stuff ever. Um, even for screen printing, I think you should just go with vinyl. I think that transfer tape in itself is just a different type of formula uh, that doesn't have as much stick as regular adhesive vinyl, which is a good thing. Otherwise, um, the transfer tape would stick to everything like vinyl does and not want to come up off your vinyl. But go get clear vinyl. It will help you a lot when positioning. It's not like a must. You don't have to have it. 
it just I think would help the process especially if your design is a little bit more detailed than this one and you need them to like layer perfectly in between each other to look layered this one's just kind of like layered in a way where we're using two colors the colors aren't mixing like we did in the last video purposefully and it's not just one color so I'm just kind of teaching you how to do that in this video um what about clear stencil vinyl so Brenda that is transfer tape stencil vinyl is transfer tape but vinyl there is clear vinyl there is clear vinyl out there so buy it even frosted vinyl is a thing I would even use it uh, before I would use transfer tape because really all you need is to be able to see through it kind of it doesn't need to be crystal clear it's not going to be crystal clear when you apply your uh, screen printing ink to it but to position it down it will definitely help but all these are good questions keep them coming okay we have our screen printing ink we have our vinyl here we're using white vinyl today we have masking paper transfer tape which we don't really need for this one but you will need it just like our other videos if you're doing something like this you will need that we have some painters tape this is just going to act as a barrier around our screen uh, to protect our stencil and the majority of our screen from getting ink on it and from getting ink on our t-shirt where we don't want it we have a screen printing squeegee this is a must also rachel being I don't know what my two brain cells were just not working the other day and I just bought like a bunch of new screens and didn't buy another squeegee now for this video we're using two different colors so I'm gonna have to run to the bathroom quickly um, after we apply our black screen printing ink and clean this off so that we can then apply our blue screen printing ink I don't know why I didn't buy another squeegee I do not know what's wrong with me but if you have more than one screen printing screen I recommend having more than one squeegee maybe even more than one size of squeegee would be good uh, and then some weeder tools that you have we have a uh, weeder tool and a true control knife we have a standard grip mat and I already have our white vinyl cut on it because again I'm kind of expediting this process because um, you've seen it twice now on how to screen print so this layer technique I just kind of want to streamline it and might make it not so overwhelming in design space or things like that um, so we have that pre-cut I will show you my design and tell you how I got to that design of course um, that's it though that's it let me see how are we doing good we can talk about food when you go wash it. Melissa, that's my thing. Yeah, I noticed that Belle said it's not even, we're not even live, <laughs> live yet, and I'm already talking about food. Yeah. It's just the effect we have on it's people. It's the effect. Yeah, it's, you know. Um, no, now, I was jumping the gun. You also have to have a shirt, something to screen print is nice. Uh, this is the shirt that I screen printed yesterday that's all dry. This is the one we're going to screen print today to be able to share with you what's going on. And then you're also going to need an easy press mat, which... I think is really helpful when screen printing it adds a little bit of cushion there and then I also really like um, I don't like it you have to have it it's an easy press or a heat press or a heat source or a household iron something like that uh, for when your shirt is completely dry you will heat set it and all that really does is really bond that ink into the uh, material of your shirt to make it last wash after wash so you have to heat set your um, screen prints yes you guys show your mistakes so that we don't make them much appreciated. Yeah, I mean, I have to tell you, I pondered a lot yesterday and this morning redoing this shirt because I'm like, I know how to screen print. I've taught them how to screen print. Why would I show them a shirt that's not done well? And then I thought, how much will they care? And then do I want to waste, what was this, $4 or something like that on a shirt that well, I already currently made? currently what they're looking at, they won't even be able to tell what's wrong with it. Which is great. Yeah. Uh, so this <clears> is the one we're going to be adding our second layer to since it's already dry and ready for us. Um, and then this one is the one we're going to do today where I'm going to basically fix my boo-boo and not go so heavy handed with this black and just share with you some more great tips about screen printing. And I know that you guys do love our fails. And I mean, I don't think I would consider I mean, you can still wear it and use it and wash it. It's just it bled a little because I was a little heavy handed. That's all. So, <sighs> yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're not going to be using a heat press today simply because our layers won't be dry. I couldn't do that much prep because I would have wasted a lot of t-shirts uh, to have one completely done to heat set. Again, we have two other tutorials where we do heat set our shirts. If you want to check it out, the link is below. And yeah, so you want to make sure that your screen print is dry in between layers. Again, that's another reason why this is a bit of a long process because screen printing ink needs several hours to dry. 
Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we'll get started. Now I'll go ahead and head over to Design Space if we don't have any more questions and share with you uh, the screens that we have ready. This is it. And of course, me being me, I did not get the cut file. So I'm gonna have to sift through, <laughs> sift through all of our amazing cut files to try and find this file. To you share might be able to you. search it too. Oh, uh, did I name it well though? Did you import it? Because if I imported it, I named it, but the cut file's name is. You did? Yeah. Okay, let's try that. I'll just search heart. <gasps> Becca. Oh, you're such a professional. You're a professional. Thank you. Thank you. So here's the cup file we're using today. It says I wear my heart on my sleeve. I've used this in the other two videos, so this is nothing new to you guys. But as you can see, these don't quite look like this, and there's a reason for that. So in a perfect world, your vinyl would be clear, so you would want to have them look just like this. Since our vinyl is not clear, I've kind of simplified this one, and again, you'll see that later, but I'm gonna teach this to you as if you're using clear vinyl, which is what I highly recommend using for this project. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is take your design and size it down a little bit. Make sure you measure your shirt, however um, large you want your design. Our design for this youth extra small is gonna be six inches wide. That's like the perfect, um, width and height for our shirt that we're using. So that's what we're gonna do first to size it down. And now we're going to take this, duplicate it. We want two of these. And then we're gonna get a basic shape. Now this basic shape, we're gonna make eight by 10 and that's gonna fit really well on our screen. So I'm gonna go and grab a shape here. I'm still getting used to where all of this is, Becca, are you? No, it's weird. I'm and I don't like how small the it. icons look. I know, they're so small. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up to the top and unlock our size ratio, and I'm going to make this 8 inches wide by 10 inches tall, just like that. And now I'm going to take this, go to arrange, send this to the back, and repeat this process again. Duplicate this. Wrong layer duplicated. Try to duplicate my square. Bring it over. Send to the back. Now that you have both of these, take them. Grab one, align it to the center. Grab this one, both of those, you can see all the layers are selected in the layers panel. Lock that into the center. Now, you're almost done. You're gonna take this. We don't want our heart in this layer. This is gonna be our layer without our heart. In this layer, we don't want our text. We're gonna take our text out of there. Now, the reason why I locked them all in the center and never put everything in place is because these are the same size. This is exactly how you want it to look. Um, and we've left it where it's supposed to go. So if you take this and you layered it right here, the heart would be right where it needed to go. I hope that makes sense. Now, if you're using clear, this would be a great, a great option for you. Since we're not, again, I'll share with you, we made this kind of smaller to be able to size it properly without filling our entire page because then you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, but again, I'll share all that with you later. Sorry to confuse you. Uh, I'm gonna take both of these. You wanna make sure both are selected. You can see that in the layers panel slice it out. We're making a stencil with these. So once you click slice, you don't need that slice result and you don't need that slice result. That's perfect. Same thing with this. We've already have them locked in the center. Both of these are selected. We're going to click slice. And you can only slice two layers at a time. You all know this. You're, you're um, seasoned cricketers at this point. Perfect. Now the last thing that we want to do is mirror these flip these, just like we do with HTV, uh, which is why these look a little bit funky over here. But I want to do this in my canvas because I always forget to um, mirror regular vinyl because it's just not in my head to mirror regular vinyl ever. So I want to go up to flip and flip this horizontally, click the other one, flip, flip horizontally. And now they're both right how I want them because we're going to be placing our vinyl on the back of our screen printing screens. Again, if any of this was fast or confusing to you, Check out those two other videos, it'll explain it all. Uh, but now we have just a perfect pair and we only need two of these, one set. Um, and we've already cut this one out, so we don't need that one and we're just gonna be cutting our heart out. Now, if you had both of them, it would be super easy. Same way, you just click make it, transfer it over. Um, you can see them both right here. They are already flipped, which is perfect. And then we would select our material setting, which would be just the regular, regular vinyl. But that's it. That's it. We already have this pre-cut because I wanted it to be super easy for you all today. So if we go to the overhead camera, I will kind of move my junk out of the way here. 
unless you guys see this. I had to do this differently than the way I showed you again because the clear vinyl that we were going to use just did not work for us, um, which is not a big deal. You can make it work for sure, especially on a um, design that was this simple. You can totally do this. So I'm going to grab my true control knife and you guys can't really see, but I can on where I need to cut. So I'm going to cut at these seven, around the seven inch mark here, just like this. Get that excess because we want to save this. Look at all this extra vinyl we can save. Put it in our scrap bin. Now we're going to get that brayer again. Bray this down. And again, we're getting a stencil. We're not weeding this up normally. We're weeding up uh, what we would opposite. If it was opposite day is what we'd be weeding up today. So we're weeding out our heart instead of weeding everything else and leaving our heart. And as you can see, it's basically the same thing. I just made it smaller just my square smaller. It's still gonna fit beautifully on our uh, design. So I'm gonna pop clean as I go, clean as I go. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of, um, actually I don't need transfer tape, I forgot. It's so easy, I mean, you really don't need transfer tape for this. It's just a basic design. But see this one, we definitely need transfer tape with. And we also placed it on the back. So right here is where all the texture is. Um, and then when you flip it over, it's nice and smooth. This is what's going to really help you as well not um, get anything underneath your design. Because if your, if the bumpy side was here up front, if you just place this down, it would really give the screen printing ink a really good opportunity to kind of get up and under those letters. But since this is the smooth side, perfect, honestly. Fantastic. So we have that one prepped. We're going to prep this one here is our screen printing screen. It's clean. If it's not clean, get some rubbing alcohol. <clears throat> you want to make sure you're wiping your hand over and that it's relatively clean. You don't feel any like little, little knots or dried ink or anything like that on there. We got to get our trusty piece of wood, Becca. Trusty. I'm still surprised you haven't like branded it or anything. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Especially if, when Anna comes. I know Anna She'll will She'll try to steal it. it. Now, Rachel, why do you have this trusty piece of wood? This trusty piece of wood is here so that I can press down on my vinyl. I can get in here with my um, brayer or I can get in there with a scraper tool and I'm not bowing my screen in too much when I'm trying to get some pressure on here. So this trusty piece of wood just happens to be an exceptional height for my screen. As you can see, I'm pushing in maybe an eighth of an inch and then I'm, I'm hitting the wood. So if I wasn't, and the wood wasn't here, and I was trying to apply my vinyl down, I would have to press and kind of like get up under here and press with my hand. Almost half an inch to three quarters of an inch down. So yeah, that's, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's... You're going to stretch it. You're going to stretch your screen, and you don't want to. You want a good tight screen. <clears throat> Anna says, I would never. You would too, Anna. You, got, you have it out for me. I know it. <laughs> she would not touch this wood. Okay, so I'm going to take my little heart. And again, you don't need transfer tape. If you want to put transfer tape on it, be my guest. I'm just going to peel it off. Fred suggests that you use the Glowforge to put in a don't touch on it. Oh, Fred, that's a great idea. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> peel that off. <clears throat> and again, you can place this perfectly in the center if you want to. It really doesn't matter, honestly. So I'm just going to place this down. Like that, peel it. You have a little bit of wiggle room here if you want to. And then always start on the edges. You want a good clean edge and then you can work your way out. Because again, all of this vinyl is basically just a protector. All that you want is a good crisp adhesion right here at your project. Um, and then all this is like extra, extra, extra. Okay, now see I can get in here with my brayer and really bray that down because of our trusty piece of wood. Perfect. Now I can remove our trusty piece of wood and flip this over. And here's our beautiful little heart right side facing us. And now we're going to get some painter's tape and get a little painter's tape happy here on the edges of our project. You can put the painter's tape on the other side as well if you want to, but that's just more um, screen printing ink that's going to be on your screen to clean. Um, so I like to put it on the front where my screen printing ink goes just because it's easier to clean. Uh, of course, if there's less screen printing ink on here. Hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if y'all have any questions, though. 
Are they giving me ideas on how to keep my, my piece of wood safe? Anna says to stick it in your snack drawer and hoard it. And there's no room in my snack drawer. That is true. I was going to say she would have to remove everything because in order my snack drawer is full of snacks. Yeah, that's what it's for. That's, it's it's actually, a snack drawer. It's, it's not a wood drawer. It's actually a, a filing cabinet, yeah. but not well, for me. It's adorable though. I have to give Becca all my documents and important things to it's put true. in hers because I, mine's yeah. full of snacks. Well, but then the the problem came this morning when I brought <laughs> my pop tarts and my granola bars, and they were just sitting on my desk because I didn't have room in my. Um, filing cabinet for them see so see? i said but what do i do with this so mm -hmm. i went and put them over in the baskets where food is supposed to go for me um but i'm just concerned i'm concerned that it will draw a mouse again and if, that my pop tarts will be eaten oh, that's a shame we that's think we mouse. got them but we do well we'll see if i'm losing pop tarts tomorrow <laughs> i'm losing pop tarts <laughs> <laughs> okay Screen printing is so like therapeutic. I love screen printing. I do too. Okay, here's the one we're working with, and I'm gonna show you. Here's the one I did yesterday. I bet you can see it much better on this screen. Not really. They can't really see. Ugh. It, see, see my failure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it's bleeding a little bit. Maybe when I do the other one, if it's like extra crisp, then they'll be like to be able to see oh, the difference. difference. Yeah. But I was really heavy-handed here, so my screen, just like this one. I mean, this is exactly the screen that I use. But if I could line that up, you can see. I was really heavy handed with my screen printing ink and it made the ink bleed on the back of my screen print here and kind of made it a little bit, uh, it looks a little shaky on the edges. And I was heavy handed on the inside. Look here, guys, looky here. So for all those of you that are like, do you need to put something in the middle? And I say, no, if you're a beginner, you, you need to, but when you're a master, you don't. I'm clearly not a master either, but I was just really, really heavy handed on that. Now you can't see it from the back or anything. Like it's, it's totally, again, it's totally fine, but I was a little heavy handed. So I'm going to do this again, which I'm going to share with you anyways. I was going to do it either way. If you've never had a perfect shirt. So you want to start off with placing your shirt perfectly straight on your mat. Now this is the large Cricut mat. This is the 16 by 20. And I'm going to lay this down, make sure there's no wrinkles in it. Lay down my screen here. You want it to be about two inches from the neck. For adults, you want it about three or four. But for a child, their shirt design doesn't need to start way down here. It needs to start farther up for a little kiddo. So we're going to bring it up here. Place this down. This looks pretty good to me. Okay, so once it looks good to you, Again, make sure that you have a good adhesion on your tape all the way around. You don't want any screen printing ink getting under that. I don't trust that piece right there. I'm putting another piece on. Getting another piece of painter's tape. Becca bought this painter's tape for a comparison video. And boy, howdy, I'm glad she didn't really need it because I've been using it on all of my screen printing projects. Okay, perfect. I'm much happier with that. I don't, I didn't like that wrinkle guys. Okay. Now you're going to need your screen printing ink and your squeegee and a popsicle stick. So the popsicle stick is just what I use to slap it on here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my screen printing ink. I'm going to go ahead and take my rings and my Apple watch off. I think that's pretty smart at this point because it's going to be on my hands. Then I'm going to have to run and rinse this under the water, my uh, squeegee here. And I didn't know that these came apart. I was cleaning it one day and I'm like, man, it's so hard to clean underneath there. And then I pulled it off and I'm like, oh wow, I feel stupid. But good on Speedball's part because that, that's a, it's a well-made little, little thing there. Okay, so once you like where this is at, I like this pretty good. Take your screen printing ink, scoop it up. And you're gonna place it on top of your design. Now, I've, again, I've talked about this in other videos, but I'll talk about it again. You can put a ton of one color of screen printing ink on top of this if you want to, because all you have to do when you're done is scrape it off. It's like etching cream. You can reuse it. So all that I'm piling on here, we're not going to be wasting it. A little bit's going to go on their design, and then we can use the rest uh, to scrape right back in here, which is great. So I'm just going to go through here and make sure I have a good little, a little snake of screen printing ink. scrape some excess right here put this in the cap I see a bubble right there I'm not happy about it 
Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to do two swipes. No one let me do more than two. This is a very light shirt with very dark screen printing ink. It's going to show up well. Give medium pressure how you would. Don't overthink it. If you're an overthinker, then you know my struggle on a daily basis. I get really heavy handed sometimes. So again, all you're going to do is place your screen printing squeegee right here, angle it just a bit and drag it on down. And then I'll pick it up because there'll be some screen printing ink on here again. Place it down, angle it just a hair more, bring it down again. So I'm going to do that. Hang on. I want to scoot some of this over more. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Get picky. Get picky with it. Okay. Here we go. First one. Down. I'm going to pick it up. Look at all that ink. You probably can't see it. There's plenty of ink on there. I'm going to place it down again, angle it a bit more. Just like that. Okay. That's it. I'm doing two. I'm not going to overcommit there. Now I'm going to take my screen printing ink, scoot my shirt away. And look, this is all the excess ink. All I have to do is scrape it down. Oh, look at that. Honestly, minimal wasted. Look at the screen. Minimal wasted. You don't see any globs or anything on the screen. This looks good. So I'm going to set this right here. I can throw away my popsicle stick, put the cap on that. And then remove this. I'm sweating. <sighs> and it looks fantastic. Look how good. Oh, my R. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to put these side by side because I want you guys to see the difference. If you can see a difference, maybe you can. You, I bet you can't. It's okay. I'm just trying to share with you guys my fail. So the edges are way more crisp on this one than this one. It's almost like they just kind of eh, bled a little bit. And honestly, I didn't notice it as bad when it was wet. But when it dried, I almost feel like it bled more, which I don't think it did. But again, you know. Um, okay, so to give you a little example as well on how you remove this, the vinyl is right here on the back. Now look how crisp this looks. You can use this on a ton of different t-shirts. So use this again and again as much as you want. But you'll remove this by taking the corner, peeling this up. And I like to rock my vinyl. It kind of helps to get all those pieces off. Then you can get a weeding tool and remove the little bitty pieces. And then when you flip it over, remove your tape. This is so satisfying to me. I love doing this. Perfect. And then I'll go and clean our squeegee and you guys can talk about food. <laughs> That's what Melissa wants. That's what she wants. So Melissa, I hope you have some good food topics. Go ahead and start. Hit, yeah, hit, hit us with a, yes. us with a good one here. So I'm going to leave this to the side and I'll clean this later because we don't need this screen. But you can see how easy it is to clean. Now, if we put the tape on the back, then all of that screen printing ink would be all over this screen too. And that's just not amazing. So I like putting the tape on the front so you can kind of peel that off to have less to clean. So I'm going to set this to the side and take our gorgeous squeegee that's really not that dirty. I'm impressed. And go wash it off. So Becca has the floor. I'll come chat with you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. It it may take her a few minutes. Uh, we hate cleaning. Did you talk about this? Because I wasn't paying attention. I was reading comments. No, about the sink, <clears> the <throat> little sink. Well, the little sink, but we hate cleaning the squeegee because it has this, it, it has the rubber piece, obviously, but it is made to sort of come out so that you can really clean it and then water gets underneath the rubber part. And it's this whole, it's just not my favorite. So it it's to dry because it keeps water up in it. Um, so get another one. I know Rachel already said you should probably have more than one, especially if you're wanting to not do. Getting another squeegee. She regrets it. Why yes. didn't I do that? Yeah. Um, I did not turn your microphone off. Should I do that? Is that distracting? I'm almost done. The water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, you guys hear it? I'm not peeing. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Carol said, uh, Becca sent you a message on Instagram. Sorry to ask for your help again. I will check it out. Miss Carol, is it my private Instagram or the Oak and Lamb one? Let me know. Um, also, if you can in the future, for some reason, you've sent a couple of messages and they vanish. Like if I, if I read, it's weird how it works. So if that is a feature that you have turned on, maybe turn that off for me. Or if you don't know how, um, cause I don't know how, maybe just email me, um, hello at oakandlamb.com as well, but I'll check, I'll check and see. Um, 
If you start getting stomach issues, drop eating Pop Tarts. <laughs> Never. My friend's son <laughs> we'll developed stomach, stomach issues, issues, and the doctor told him to stop eating Pop Tarts because they are hard to digest. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. That's so how, sad. How often is he eating Pop Tarts? Yeah, that's yeah, a question. Yeah. How many meals are Pop Tart heavy? Let me know. Also, Melissa, I never saw your comment. What flavor Pop Tarts? For me, frosted cherry or strawberry? <laughs> cherry for sure. Frosted cherry. For sure. Actually, I took a picture of my Pop Tarts versus Rachel's yesterday, and I was going to put a little. Um, you need to do that. I'm going I'm to. Curious. I just haven't done yet. A little poll yes. on Instagram. So I'll do on that. On like chocolatey Pop Tarts or versus fruity, fruity, fruity Pop Tarts. Yeah. Anyway. Which um, I was telling Becca, I was watching a YouTuber, another YouTuber who I love. Well, it's uh, <clears throat> two, two men, but it's Good Mythical Morning. And they did a taste test on every Pop Tart flavor. And what came out on top was wild berry. And I've never had a wild berry Pop Tart, Becca. I don't think you have either. I ordered them. Ordered them did yesterday. Order? I did for our camping trip. Yeah. I'll let you know. Let me know. Anyway, sorry. No, no. I, I was asking you if you had them. So yeah. thank you for answering. But yes, wild berry came out on top. They gave. I'm eager to try them out. They gave. Now, what was their assessment of the flavor? Like, it's not just like blueberry and raspberry. It's, it's like. Okay, so they love the fruity one. Yes. They enjoyed the fruity ones. Uh, strawberry was up there. Uh, raspberry was up there, at, like the top tier. And they said they loved wild berry because it kind of tasted like a little bit of all of them. Cherry and raspberry and strawberry, all the good fruits. Um, so, yeah. Now, they gave chocolate chip cookie dough a low score, and that's my favorite Pop-Tart. Rachel, that's can you help me I really digress. quick? Miss Carol has asked her, her comment that she messaged was yes. did we receive the gifts from her i haven't we haven't opened all of them but let me see yes okay miss carol she told me what it was and was that doesn't like ring a, a bell but was it a like a handmade gift that you sent uh, carol i don't want to or was it uh, she gift? told me what it was but i don't know if i, I, I haven't was seen it from that my registry no okay um it would be on my amazon sheet my Google, amazon sheet my Google sheet that I've been slaving over. I won't open them, but I will check the um, addresses. Let me look at the boxes over here. It may. It's not over there. I promise. Okay. Over there is Miss Mel Melissa's, Brenda's, Katie's, Beth's, and Patrice. That's okay. what all those are, which are okay. not off my registry. I don't know. So I, don't I have know. not seen it. Let yeah. me know. Now it might have been if you sent it a while ago, Carol. It might have been in like the first batch that. It was already taken from my desk before I could do this. Again, I did not see that. I'll ask Julie because I, uh, we we didn't open them if we knew no. it was for no. if we knew it was for Rachel. So I wouldn't have seen that yes. particular gift. Yes. So I'll check with Julie for sure. Anyway, sorry, rabbit trail. No, thank you all so much. Um, anyways, we were just talking about pop tarts. It's not really a rabbit trail when you're already talking about true, pop tarts true. during the screen printing video. So, uh, okay, so this is the one we just did. Looks great. Now I'm going to set him to the side to dry because we really don't need him. I'm going to set him over here. I don't want him to get messed up. So the one that we have dry is right here. Now you are not going to heat set this layer. You're going to add another layer. So go ahead, allow this to dry. I would say overnight's best, but four or five hours. Again, it depends on how heavy handed you are and how thick your layer is. It might even depend on the outside temperature. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, just make sure it's nice and dry again overnight if you're in, um, if you're not sure. But yeah, okay, so we're not gonna heat set this. It's been dry though, so we're gonna lay this down on our easy press mat, just like our first one. Spread it out, get all those um wrinkles out now we're going to grab our other screen now the reason i made this one small is so that i could see where i'm putting it even though it didn't help at all so <laughs> picture this that's what this picture is when clear, clear. This was clear yes, yeah clear, clear would come in handy. picture if this was clear you would know exactly where to put this bad boy but since uh, since ours is not clear we don't know where to put maybe it. maybe reference the picture yeah the cut file yeah yes I'm going to go back here. You guys don't have to do this. This is just, this is a Rachel problem right now. If I could spell. Okay. I'm going to reference this. I'm going to place it in design space. <clears throat> it's tucked so in there pretty is, good. It's tucked in here pretty good next to the Y. So here's what I'm going to try and fill out the Y. There's the Y. Now it's going to go up a little and over a little from the Y. That's probably good. I'm, 
I'm going to go with that. Okay, I'm going to hold this down so I know where it's at. The good thing is that it's not, it doesn't have to be even. Like, it's sort of a cockeyed heart anyway. So if it's a little bit crooked, it won't matter as long as you're not overlapping. True. But again, picture if this was clear. Wouldn't this be nice to see clear? Yes. Yeah. So picture that. Um, no, I do not put butter on my Pop-Tarts. Rachel, do you put butter on your Pop-Tarts? No, I heat mine though, and Becca does not heat hers. And I, I love want a, butter. I want a warm Pop-Tart. That's what I want. Now here's a the thing. A warm, chocolatey Pop-Tart. Yes, I sure do, Becca. You and your judgment can leave. <laughs> <laughs> my kids got their Oreo Pop-Tarts this weekend. That's what they wanted. They haven't had them in a while. They go through these phases where they love Pop-Tarts and they're like, I don't ever want to see another Pop-Tart. <laughs> Well, that's because you get burnt out on it. My I'm, husband is on a kick for Popeyes. I oh, don't like oh, Popeyes. No, thank you. Number one, it's way overpriced. I have not found anything that I particularly like there. It's just a mess. Okay. Gosh, I'm so nervous about this. Right, y'all. Bet, uh, I bet if you had a um, bright pad, you could put it behind it, and it would just shine right through. Do you, again, you and your negativity. <laughs> You and your negativity. This was only spurred on because Jen said would light shine through. And then I thought, I'll just take that and run with it. Don't know. Yeah. I would know. I don't care if I really needed a bright pad. Now, just for the principle, I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase one. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? Of me? I'll wing it and risk this. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I will. Oh. So now I'm going to put some screen printing ink up here above her heart. Now, this would be where a smaller squeegee would come in handy. But alas, we don't have one of those. And that's okay. Place this to the side. Where do you get clear vinyl? Can you get it from 143? Yes. Yeah. Let okay. me find you a link, Miss Linda. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. I might do a third pass just since it's so big here in the center. Gosh, I'm nervous. But again, it's tucked in. It's fine. It's supposed to be right above the Y, tucked in close to the Y, uh, or right above the M, tucked in next to the Y. And again, I haven't spread my a screen printing ink the length of my squeegee because there's no need to do that at all. You just want it to cover your screen printing design. So it's okay that my squeegee is way bigger. So again, I'm going to take it, pull it down, just like that. Pull up, do the same thing again. I'm going to do one more little pass. Perfect. Got my screen printing ink. Now I'm going to take it, all satisfying and such. Scrape it off just like that. Scrape off a little bit, a little bit more. I see some excess there. Why when I search clear vinyl, every single thing, or just clear, every single thing comes up? I think search transparent. Okay, that's good. They, uh, FYI, I do have a clear zebra vinyl. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Game changer there. Okay, I'm going to fill this up. Oh, well, that's adorable. Okay. Um, same thing. Please reuse this. But if you don't want to, I'm going to scooch that out of the way. Peel that up. Then you can turn it around and peel up your tape. Look how satisfying. And now I have two screens to be able to uh, clean. This one would be much easier to clean. Now I'm going to set this one to the side too to clean that after the live. Now we can kind of marvel at this. I'm gonna that pop is my, fine. Pop my lid back on here. Get a paper towel. Wipe down my little squeegee. Squeegee served me well today. It did a great job. Did a great job. Now I'll get to clean that off. After I threw it in the floor, you know. Oh, I thought it was the paint. It's good that I'm we so have glad concrete. it was it. Becca, you're saying you didn't want me to? <clears throat> To drop the paint again? No. You didn't want me to? Uh, how cute is this? So this has to dry. This needs to dry again, same as your top layer dried. Um, five, six hours overnight, something like that. You got to be sure it's good and dry. And then you can heat set it, which would mean you would want to put a protective barrier over this, like parchment paper or freezer paper, um, something like that. Butcher's paper and then heat set it about 350 degrees, 30 seconds, something like that. And then you're good to go. Rach, what size screen do you think Miss Shirley should get? <sighs> this has been a good topic for us. I like 11 by 14. It's a really I do good, too. It's a really good standard size. I do too. Let me get this big one that we have too and show you. We just got this. 
I guess it also depends on like what you're going to be doing. Most shirts, you're not going to need any bigger than 11 by 14. Yeah, we I did mean, get this huge one. She's a honker. And why did we get her? For larger projects. Yes. For like um, hoodies and maybe like even huge blankets hoodies. and yeah. things like that. But then this is the 11 by 14. And it's a really good standard size. It's easy to store in your craft space. Well, um, consider this. If you're making your stencils with your Cricut, you can't make it any wider than 11 and a half inches or 11.7 if you have the maker. So, yeah, like having a huge screen may seem like a great idea. But then look at Rachel's shirt. Rachel, can you measure the image on your shirt really quick just to give them an idea? Like you're not going to need. Absolutely. That one was 16 by 20, by the way. Too much bigger. It just... 11 by 8. Yeah, so you're really not going to need much than... I, I, 11 by 14 is what I would get, personally. It's a good size. Yeah. It's a really good size. Again, this one's 16 by 20. Um, very large. Rachel, when you plan to reuse, do you clean the screen a little or just do the second one? I'm worried about getting ink on the second sharp. You don't have to worry about that. If mm -mm. you have done it light-handedly... It doesn't seep out. It doesn't seep through. Yeah. All I would be careful about is repositioning it too many times on the shirt. Because while it's not going to seep, there is still screen printing ink on the bottom side because you've used it. So if you set it on a shirt and then start moving it around a ton, you might get a little ink transfer for where you're kind of rubbing it around. But if you take it, you move on, you screen print, you pick it up, you set it down on your shirt right where you want it. You can screen print over and over and over again. Um, again, as long as you are light handed about it, you won't have to worry about it bleeding through. With the question, 11 though. by 14, I can do smaller, t taller shirts, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can, absolutely. I mean, you could do a one inch Onesie. something with that. Yeah. And then Becky says, I like to have someone hold my screen while I pull down the ink. I've had my screen move on me. Yes. I, I put my left hand on the screen and push down and then just squeegee with my right. That's also why I recommend having a, um, easy press mat. It really helps your shirt to stay in place and your screen to stay in place. I've never had it move on me. Um, usually if I put it on the edge of a table, I'll kind of scoop my belly up to it too and kind of do like that. There's also this system. Sorry, I can't explain it without showing. There's also this system that is a board and it has, like you put the shirt on the board and it has a piece you put your screen on. It butts up against the, that piece of wood that's there, and it doesn't move on you. It so holds it's, in place. it's speedball as well. Sweet. Yeah. That's anyway. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Purchase that if you wanna. Yeah. That's cool. How long can you leave a screen dirty if you plan to use it again? Ooh, I would not leave it. I, I wouldn't let it dry. Honestly. I wouldn't let it dry. Yeah. Now this one, this black one, the time's already ticking for me. I already know it's going to be hard to get off and they will stain. That's very normal for them to stain. Brand new ones look amazing, but as soon as you get a, especially black, black on yeah. there, it's going to stain. That doesn't mean it's not clean when you wash it, um, but you don't want them to, to dry. You want them, you want to be able to wash that while it's still wet, if at all possible. Um, you don't have to use soap or anything. Regular water, hot water does better. Um, hot water will kind of re-moisten it and wet it if it happens to dry a little bit. Hot water will help with that as well. But yeah, just hot water does the trick for that. Let me see. How often would you need to replace the screen? Depends on how often you use it. How often do you need to change the oil in your car? Depends on how often you drive. Yeah, it's it just, like... It We've never begins. replaced one because we don't use it that often. No. Yeah. But, no, I mean, I've been, I follow some Instagrammers who do this for a living. And, I mean, year after year, they they have uh, screens that when they're finished with the design, they rip off the um, frame. The Yeah, and, and clean it off and go for the next year. Like, yeah. I, they've been using them for several seasons. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is great. Charlie's already helping. Yes. Yes. Charlie already helps. I just scoop, scoop my belly up. He's already helping me craft, guys. Well, Amazing. and I told Rachel this morning because we got another package for Charlie this morning out of the mailbox. And I came in and I was like, I can't even compete with this child. I'll never get this amount of fan mail. No. No one can compete with Charlie. And that's fine. It's, it's fine. I'm fine with it. No, yeah. I'm fine with it. That one was from Miss Patrice Bishop, by the way. Didn't yes. open it. It had a tag on it. It said, to Charlie, do not open until March 20th, which just melted my heart number it one. It was adorable. But yeah. I always keep track of whatever you guys get me so that I can, again, properly say thank you. And um, yeah, it's so cute, though. Thank you so much for everybody. Um, 
Amazon is showing 110 monofilament screen. Is that what you use? Hold on. Let me look and see. I don't know. Screen print, frame, speedball. Monofilament. What a word. Yeah, that's it. Would you recommend using a scrub brush for cleaning the screens? I've never had to use a brush. Again, if it dries, I, you might want to use like a sponge, but I don't think you ever need to get in there with a brush. It's, Becca, would you agree? It's a relatively delicate material. Yeah, you don't want to scrub on it. It's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it were if it weren't delicate, then the ink wouldn't be able to go through it well. Yeah. Or you would have it's like you would have mesh. the fiber. You have to treat it kind of like mesh. You have to, you know, be yeah. kind of gentle with it. When you're washing it, uh, we stick it under the sink and we press on it and do circular motions with the hot water. You, again, you don't want to press too hard because then you're stretching your material on your frame and you don't want to do that. You want to keep it keep the material nice and tight on that frame. So it's a little bit of a dance. Also, I'd recommend doing it with a water hose or in a utility sink. Again, we don't have one of those. So we're out of luck there. But I think this turned out super cute. Layering that little screen print is cute. And again, our other videos, we showed you how to use this same design and screen print with multiple colors. It kind of looked like a really cute little rainbow. And then our first one, we did one solid color to really give you guys the basic fundamental, fundamental skills on how to screen print. Uh, both are great videos. Rach, we have a fun announcement. Yes, we sure <clears throat> do. We had, a, can you even see it? Yeah, they can see it. Here yeah. we go. We had a fantastic giveaway from February the 12th to March 1st. It ended yesterday, um, the 28th, and anyone who was a member with us and renewed for a year or monthly, or if you have never been a member with us and you joined our membership, from February 12th to yesterday, February 28th, you were entered to win a Cricut Maker 3. Now, we have went through, randomly drawn the name of the winner of this because I know you guys have been anticipating who has won it. Um, there were 172, mm -hmm. 172 of you who either renewed your membership to be with us longer or started your journey in our flock and we are number one blown away and so thankful for that honestly we cannot even express to you how excited we are about that um but anyways the winner of the cricket maker three is miss flock number 592 tammy trombley tammy congratulations please email us we have your shipping address yes. but if there's another shipping address or anything just go ahead and email us hello at oakenlam.com and say hey i won the maker here's my address that i want it sent to just in case it's different than the one we have on file if you don't get back to us we'll just ship it to the address we have on file for you but thank you miss tammy trombley again that was flock number 592 congratulations you won the Maker 3. Also, thank you for extending your membership with us. Thank you to all 172 of you who decided to extend your membership or to join the flock. It's it's a great time to do that for sure. You guys are so sweet. Um, yeah, congrats. Look at you guys. So sweet. I wonder if she's here today. Maybe not. Let me know if she's here. Well, she's not able to be live a lot because um, I, I, I'll... I love to Facebook stalk people. Um, she's active in our group, but she's not able to be live a lot because okay. of work schedules and stuff well, like that. Well, yeah. these videos are not a member-only perk. Just letting you know. So <laughs> these are free to the public. So that's fine. I'm so glad she's in there, though. Yes, congratulations. You guys are so sweet. Now, all of you Founding Flock members, which are Founding Flock members, are members that who joined before February the 12th. So if you join from November 26th of 2021 to February 12th, 2022, and you have not extended your membership, you still have the opportunity to do so at that extremely discounted rate. So many of you have to be entered to win this maker, but there's still time. I think we're uh, allowing you to do that through Good Friday. Yes, do that's... not use links that are not the correct link. Only use the when, links. When that... you click the link, it should say, if, if it's the yearly, it should say $149, $149 at the top. If it does not click it, we. We can fix it for you, but it's a process because what happens is currently right now you're on a monthly membership that's free because of your purchase of the Craft with the Flock course. Yes. When you purchase a membership that is not the one you're supposed to purchase, it cancels that membership. Yes, correct. And then we have to go in and give you a credit, which is okay. 
it does cost us a fee. Yeah. Um, so just and then we also have to go in on the back end, and I can't do it. Donnie has to do it for us. Have to go in on the back end and reinstate that membership. So it's a whole process, which means you may be delayed on accessing your account. We don't want that for you. Also, so, we want you to save that money. Yeah. Oh, Please. for sure. We want for you to sure. save that money. If you see, if you are a founding flock member and you have upgraded. Um, or extended your membership for a year and it does not say 149 do not click process payment do not click okay email us be like hey do I have do I have the wrong link what's going on because we want you guys to save that because founding flock members save $50 for renewing their membership if you want to now again all founding flock members you have the membership free through May 31st you don't have to renew you don't have to extend but to say thank you if you want to you get $50 off to renew that membership through April 16th which is Good Friday um, no April 16th is that Saturday yes yeah you know what I mean yep that we did day. it through Saturday because Anne and I are probably I, we, we're not sure if Rachel will be here or not we have no idea Charlie is due on the 17th but Either way, Anne and I will be here. Maybe Rachel will be here. We're probably going to be doing a uh, Good Friday live yeah. for you all. So I know a lot of you all are off from work that day. We thought it would be fun just to pop in and do a little event for you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Nothing huge, but no, just, maybe just a couple hours. Yeah. yeah. But again, if you want to extend your membership, you can. You don't have to, but we want to honor you guys and say thank you and give you guys that much of a discount. For sure. Okay. Um... Linda, you're so sweet. That is so sweet. You're so sweet. I'm enjoying customer service. I'm also enjoying giving Becca a break from customer service. She deserves a very, a very long customer service hiatus uh, for sure. How do you have time to Facebook stalk people when you're so busy creating awesome cut files and loving on those beautiful babies? Uh, I, Somehow you know, she squeezes in her day. Yeah, when I'm going to the bathroom or something. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Go in the bathroom. That's Facebook good. stalk you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only on her private toilet time. <laughs> You guys are so funny. Um, yeah, I hope you had a, a great time live with us today. We did some screen printing. What in the world are we doing tomorrow? Let me check. I should know this. It's a glitter resin clock. <gasps> We're doing the clock yes, tomorrow? Yes, it's tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about it because so Rachel cute. always does our reg resin projects. That's a lie. You just did a resin pin last week. I know, and it took like four years to cure when it should have taken three minutes. <laughs> resin? <laughs> Sometimes doesn't like Becca. No. I don't know why. But we're doing a resin clock. And then on Thursday, oh, Becca's teaching you how to make some waterproof stickers in a really fun and cute way, though. Oh, yeah. Is that Thursday? That's Thursday. I really need to get on things. <laughs> we're transparent here. Yeah. I mean, and I have then, everything. I bought everything. It's all here. It's all here. Yeah. It's all here. Yeah. Uh, but next week, next week, gonna be here she is. how exciting uh, is that so you guys get to see miss anna she's making a super cute project all of these are already on our homepage here on youtube so go check that out um yes it's a clock it's a resin clock and th also thank you guys for being here early today we're going to lunch with a friend and had to switch our little live times around but we're happy to do it thank you all for being so um loosey-goosey with us you know? How do you get private bathroom time? I don't. Everyone seems to think mom's potty is the most important time to bother her. Kid is no, 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 no. I did not say I did. I had got private potty. I did. She said that. I, I did said, not say. I'm that. not a parent yet. I, I don't said know that. the last time I went to the bathroom other than here that a dog or a child or a husband did not walk in and think that I needed to like consult at that now, moment. Yeah. I do distinctly remember. Becca was trying to have private potty time one day, and Fallon came in asking if Becca had made deviled eggs for dinner. Yeah, at 102.4 fever that was, on the yes. potty. Yeah, it didn't. No, that didn't matter. Mom Fallon did, had to come in and say, "Did she make, Mom? Did you make deviled eggs? No. Oh, uh, it's been a really long time since you've made that. A very, a very long time. It's very, been a very long time very since you've made time. those. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, oh. Becca, what did they pack? Oh, yes, they. What packed. did they pack? Okay. So, you know, Fallon is normally my very sound-minded, um, <laughs> five-year-old, very, uh, like, intentional, thought-out child. Deep thinker. Becca is... Impulsive. A free spirit. Free spirit. He's a free spirit. You know, Beckett does, nine times out of ten, has his underwear on inside out or backward, and that's okay. just the kind of kid he is. And At he's, he's got him on. He's adorable. He's the sweetest child in the world. They just have different strengths. Um, <laughs> Fallon brings down a... <laughs> Sequiny, glittery Minnie Mouse backpack. 
um, with so many junky toys in it. She just kept pulling them out. And I brought this and I brought this. I'm like, I don't even know where they're from. It's like the toys that you get in those little baggies when you go to some kid's birthday party. Like just oh, junk. Like junk the ones you toys. get for like 50 for a dollar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, okay. So then Beckett is so excited. Mama, I packed. I'm like, yeah, I bet you did. I packed, Mama. I am ready. I packed. And Beckett is the kind of kid, um, especially toward the end of the day, if his medicine has worn off, his ADHD medicine, um, sometimes his thoughts are really like everywhere. Yes. And I was really proud of him because we're driving home and I was like, well, buddy, why don't you go ahead and tell me what's in your bag? Cause I thought this is just going to be really good. And he said, well, mom, I got a blanket and I was like, okay, yeah, that's good. I got a Nemo fish, which is his pillow. He yeah. has this huge, yeah, uh, that's fantastic. I got my lightning McQueen shirt, which is a hoodie. Like, okay. <coughs> I got socks. Socks are good. Fantastic. Socks you hate good. socks. I'm surprised you packed them, but that's amazing. <laughs> Hoodie, socks. Yeah, hoodies and socks. Uh, he said, and what am I forgetting? Oh, oh, shoes. I've got shoes. I was like, okay, amazing. I was like, well, we just got to get some underwear and some shorts and things like that. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when I go home to actually look at it, all of those things were in there, including the underwear and the shorts. He packed every single thing. Now, only one of each, but that doesn't matter. No. I was he's so thought, impressed. I was so happy. Literally every single thing. He thought through that. He did. It was he shocking. He thought through that. It was that. very shocking. He was oh. very proud of himself. Very, very proud of himself. How sweet. Um, has anyone used the We Are Memory Keepers printmaker? Is that the little machine? That little thingy? No. What is one's... it? Hold on. I'll let Beck look it up. <clears throat> printmaker. And then someone said, what size is your squeegee? Yeah, it is. Shirley. Yes, it is. Nine inches. We, we I didn't use, it was, it wasn't the, was it We Are Memory Keeper, the one that had, it was the, it was a RP. Yeah. Yeah. I've used a different version of it. I didn't use the We Are Memory Keepers one, but it's um, it was like ridiculously priced, and the ink is ridiculous. And Aaliyah talked me into doing it on my skin. Remember, we were yes. thinking maybe it would be yes. like a tattoo, but it just smeared on my arm. It just smeared. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, Becca tried it though. Becca, do you remember that live years ago? It was like two studios ago at Maker's Gonna Learn, and it was. Print and cut. Oh, tattoos, yes. With the silhouette. Yes. Yeah. And I, for you all, yeah. literally, like a whole sleeve, whole sleeve, tatted up my arm. And then had to be in a wedding the next day. What is wrong with me? So in the shower that night, I was scrubbing. And then I needed to, to self-tan. I was going to put self-tanner on. I did not think that through. But for you all, I did it. I did that for you. Those were hard to come off. And I had to wear them the next hard day. To come I had off. to self yeah. tan that night. Oh, it was, but it, let me see. I'd, I'd have done it all again. It was hilarious. It was so. Funny. Shirley said, "Just looked, and all the screen printing supplies will be here tomorrow." So excited! That is so Yay! funny. I love Look that. Look at that timing. I love it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Was it from We Are Memory Keeper though? I think it was a different brand, like C O L O. Peak, I don't know. It wasn't we are remember. We I got it from it QVC for it was like four hundred dollars, and then we gave one away for that twenty. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like by the time we bought the ink, know, because the ink was like fifty dollars, the cartridge is like fifty dollars, and then you you bought the machine, and then we paid for shipping and everything. I mean, it was it was Ooh. if I'm unless I'm remembering incorrectly, which I don't think I am. It's very pricey. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. I'm glad we can say that now. Mm. I just bought silhouette tattoo paper at Joanne's two are closing and got 50% off. Hey, let me tell you, they I stick love really well. They it do. took me forever to get them off. Um, I'd do it all again. I think it was like hilarious things too. Like I think we had like the Birkenstock file. And, and then like there was the, like the peace sign. And it I was like a tie-dye peace sign. All on. over me. All over me. Mama's boy. I mean, I just all different. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. People probably thought I was crazy. I'm glad I didn't have to do anything right after work, like go to Walmart or something. I'm really glad I didn't have to do that. Romo added screen printing supplies to his wedding registry. <laughs> I love that. So love when that. we got married, I was so mad at Wayne, man. I was so mad. Why? Because I I was 18 at the time when we did the registry, and he was 28, so he had lived by himself for a while, and he had all the things, so we didn't really, really need, need yeah. 
Yeah. I, I wanted new things because he had picked out all of that. And so when we went to do the registry, he was just like hitting random stupid things. Like, oh my gosh. Well, man. What if it? We didn't have that a wedding four hundred dollar vacuum, Wayne. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I love my four hundred dollar vacuum. No, 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 I have a very pricey vacuum. I appreciate good vacuums, yeah. but at the time, knew no one was gonna buy that for me. No, hey, sometimes you gotta take a chance. You gotta take a chance. No, I, I'm a, I'm a massive advocate for good vacuum cleaners. I have a rainbow vac, same. and I just love them. I don't have a rainbow. I didn't say. I meant same for I'm an good advocate vacuum. For, yeah. Yes, yeah, good yeah. vacuums. Um, I bought a Dyson a couple years ago, put it on a credit card. It took me a while to pay that sucker off, but boy, do I love my Dyson vacuum. Yes. Yeah. It's a good one. Mom found one at Goodwill for $75, like a, a newer one. And she took her home and we wore her out. Um, and again, things like that, if you take care of them, they'll take care of you for sure. Love vacuums. Yeah. So now we've talked about screen printing, packing for camping, pop tarts, and vacuums. Anything else? Is there anything else we need to talk yeah, about else we not covered? before we head out for the day? <sighs> no, Tammy, please. I don't leave him in charge of any. I don't know how he even got the gun. Like, anybody who knows me knows that I, I and Wayne's fine with this. He's a type nine. He doesn't care. He likes to be told what to do. Wait, like, did I, I miss something? She said. He um, put a gun on the registry? No, no, no. The, the gun that you would you would like scan things with the target the scanner the scanner the scanner, the scanner gun okay 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 my gosh Sorry, no I we didn't... did not put a gun on the registry i was like um anyway i don't he's not normally in charge of things like that wait so you're telling me you went to a store got got a little price gun and walked around is that what you did rachel what i got married a long time ago I, 15 years in two days, by the way, guys. It's their wedding. That's where they're camping. It's a anniversary camp trip. Yeah, um, we're taking our kids. We're taking and our the kids. dogs. You always go to Melting Pot and you take your kids too. Yeah. Happy anniversary. I love my, my kids. Children. Yeah. yeah, they're great. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so happy anniversary to Becca on Thursday. She'll yes, be here you. though. Yeah, I'll be crafting you. with you all. So hold your happy anniversaries until Thursday. Then we can bombard them. I bet some have already come out. That's okay. I'll probably. Let's see. But Let's we'll see. uh we'll say those and then bombard back with happy anniversary. Fifteen years down. That is that's a long time. It is a long um, time. And that's also my mama's birthday. It's a double hitter. Two of my favorite people are having great days on Thursday. So Oh, there's one, Stacy. Yeah, I said nothing says happy anniversary. Happy fifteen years, babe. Like, let's go back a travel trailer camper together. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. you know, yeah, whatever. Whatever you enjoy. Whatever you enjoy. However you like to spend your time. Only people who camp know what I'm talking about right now. It's actually, actually, we do really great because Wayne knows not to say a stinking word. Yeah. He just gets out. His only job is to tell me if I'm going to hit something. And that's fine. Other than that, as long and as you honestly, have that communication. I'm going to be honest. Most of the time, I'm really, 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 really good at backing the camper. Uh, most of the time, I get out and look at him and just smile. And he's like, yeah, I know. You're good. I know, right? I know. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> supportive <laughs> yeah but that's where they're going they're going on a fun little camping trip yes it'll be fun it'll be great okay well i hope you guys have had a great time um oh my gosh it's only been an hour i fear I'm for impressed. becca she's not gonna handle the empty nest syndrome oh no 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 i'll never have an empty nest once my kids are old enough i'll foster and have more children in my house i can't handle it no mm -mm. Mm -mm. no um, Fallon will be, by then, she'll be president of the United States. And, um, so where will Beckett be? Where will Beckett be? Here, all, here with him. Yeah. Yeah. But all I know is that Fallon will be running the country. Oh, you probably. said Beckett or Becca? You'll be here. Yeah. You'll be here. Yeah. Well, Fallon will either be president or own this company because we could be old and frail by then. So you'll either be seeing her all the time on the news or here. So we'll, uh, we'll keep up plans yeah. for, for mm -hmm. Fallon for sure. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> tomorrow, Becca's going to make that resin clock. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was tomorrow. I'm pumped now. So excited. We planned these so far in advance. I forget what's coming up and then I get excited. So stay tuned. Be here tomorrow at 1 p.m. It's going to be a really fun live. I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Becca's nervous. <laughs> Becca's nervous about UV resin on the live. If she made it one hour before the live stream, it'd probably go fantastic. 
then all the lives something would happen. But we're not going to put that in. The, we're not going to put that negativity in the air. It's going to be a great live. And if it's not, you guys will be here to witness it anyway. So eh, be here either way. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, we got to go. We've got 20 minutes to uh, pee and get to our meeting. It's 1230. I thought it was at 12. 1230. Are you certain? Positive. Who picked 1230? Not us. <laughs> Again, sorry, guys. This is a conversation <laughs> we could have later. But anyways, you're part of our family anyways. Thank you all for being here early <laughs> on Tuesday. We're going to head out. I hope you have a fantastic day. Becca's checking her text to see who's I right. Am. And now I'm going to sit here. No, I'm sure you're right. I just, I don't remember this conversation. I'm waiting. Hold on. Uh, why? Why? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Becca's like, wrap it up, Rachel. We got to get out no, of here. No, I believed like, you. I believed you. I'm but I was trying to remember like, if I like, responded to that. Like, I acknowledged that it was at that time. Did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I sure did. Okay, sure well, did. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. You're fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations, Tammy, for winning. Tammy, Tammy yes. for winning this amazing cricket maker. Tammy Trombley. Trombley. Trom We're Trombley, not seeing you this one. No. Yours is going to be brand new. Don't you worry. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your afternoon. Try screen printing out and happy National Craft yeah. Month. We will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Bye, everyone.